Hello po sa inyong lahat, welcome back to Jongix Channel And for today's video, nandito po tayo ngayon sa tinagura ang pinakamalaking syudad ng Negros Occidental, ang Bacolod City Ayan, sa likuran ko po ay makikita po ninyo ang napakalaking ano no, ng pangalan ng lugar no Dito sa kanilang ano, sa kanilang syudad, sa kanilang malaking park And for today's video, samahan nyo po ako para silipin po natin ang simbahan ng Bacolod Ang tinagori ang cathedral nila no So ano kaya ang uh, itsura ng cathedral nila at kung bakit ito maganda no? at dinadayo ng mga tao. Kaya uh, samahan niyo po ako sa araw na ito. In the heart of Bacolod City, the capital of Negros Occidental, is the center of spiritual direction for this province, known for its vast amounts of land dedicated to sugar. Strategically located by the sea and centrally positioned where the city is divided into north and south, the San Sebastian Cathedral stands proud with its ornate towers overlooking the plaza of Bacolod City. Being the cathedral in the province capital, It is only fitting that this structure bears one of the most imposing facades among Negros churches. With a highly coordinated symmetry, the San Sebastian Cathedral could well denote the perfect balance of the mundane and the spiritual. The cathedral took its name after Pueblo de San Sebastian, the other name for this capital when it was still called Magsungay. Its full name then as a village in the 18th century was San Sebastian de Magsungay. The center of the village was a few kilometers south of the current location of the cathedral, but because of attacks by the Moros, the villagers, people of Magsungay, moved up to the new settlement in the hilly terrain called Bacolod, the precursor of the modern-day name Bacolod. The parish we now know in Bacolod grew out of a visita, a priest from another town would periodically visit to attend to the spiritual needs of the village. As it was in the 18th century that duty fell on the parish priest of Binalbagan or Tukguguan. In 1806, Father Leon Pedro was appointed as the first priest of Magsungay. And years later, Father Julian Gonzaga. A young priest from Barcelona would envision the construction of the San Sebastian Church for Bacolod. Coral stone from the island of Guimaras was used as the primary building material. Hardwood from trees in Palawan was used for wooden portions of the structure. Father Mariano de Avila's bell was installed in the bell tower during the church construction. Bacolod continues to serve as an important beacon, a lighthouse of sorts to the spiritual lives of the citizens of modern-day Bacolod and elsewhere in the province of Negros Occidental.
After niyo nakita yung simbahan, bigyan naman natin ng pansin ang park na ito, no? kung saan ako nakatayo ngayon. Kaya, uh, bigyan ko po kayo ng, uh, ng panahon o pagkakataon na makita po natin at silipin po natin ang buong paligid ng park. Uh, kahit saglit, no? para at least naman, uh, kasi yung park, eh, na situated kasi siya dito malapit sa may simbahan. Fronting talaga, no? Ganyan talaga yung, ano, yung mga posisyon ng simbahan, eh. Pag may simbahan, meron agad na park na pwedeng uh, uh, mamasyal yung mga tao at pwede silang magstay no? Kaya sa mayo You will find the band stand at the center of the Bacolod Public Plaza, which was erected in 1926. And there are inscriptions on the walls and roof of the gazebo, where you'll find the names of world-renowned classical musicians and composers such as Mozart, Wagner, and Beethoven. na po natin yung kadilang park, di ba? So, nabakaganda nung park na napakalawa. Actually, maraming parks po ang Bacolod kasi malaking city din po siya, no? So, meron din po siya tinatawag na lagoon, uh, na, na park, at uh, maganda din po yung park na iyon. Kaya, pwede, pwede po kayong mamasyal actually dito kasi uh, along the busy streets o yung mga trabaho ng mga tao, kahit pag gusto silang magpahinga yan, pwede silang magpunta dito sa park, magpasinong sa mga kahoy, ayun, no? To breathe and a fresh air, no? Dito kasi maganda po talaga yung park na maraming mga puno, no? At pwede king may enjoy sa mga, sa mga tanawin pag may mga activities na ginagawa yung mga tao. Saan nyo po ang vlog na ito no? at nakita po natin kung anong itsura ng simbahan at ay makadayo po kayo dito sa Bacolod at uh, makita po ninyo ang isa sa mga landmark ng lugar na ito, ang kanilang cathedral. No? At hanggang sa susunod ko po mga travel, this is Jung's channel. Thank you. Mm -hmm.